Hi everyone, I'm your mistress of manifestations and welcome to my YouTube channel. Cheers. Hello Pisces. Yes, Pisces. I know I'm doing a Pisces reading after Gemini, but this is specially for someone who asked for it and you know who you are. Beautiful black goddess. So here is your reading. I know Pisces has to wait till the end of, you know, 11 signs to get there to listen to their message so i am just going to switch it up for a bit now pisces this is a general reading so not all the messages here are going to resonate with you but if it does just claim it 100 percent. take what's yours and leave the rest the minute you hear the messages you will know if this is for you or not now i'm assuming that this is your sun sign do you know where your other sign placements are where is your moon where is your venus what is your rising? Google free birth chart calculator, put in your birth details, calculate your chart for free, find out where those placements are. For example, if your Venus is in Libra, go to my channel, watch the Libra reading. And I assure you, there will be additional messages there for you. So having said that, Pisces, I'm going to start, uh, I'm going to start with my gilded uh, reverie, and I'm going to ask a simple question to start this reading. What does Pisces need to know right now? Right now, as you watch this, it's a timeless reading. I put a date. That's just to sort my stuff out, but the reading is applicable to you when you come across it. There are no coincidences, my friends. So let's go. Pisces, what do you need to know right now? Okay. Pisces. Okay, there's one more. Two more. All right, let's see. Hmm. Okay, so when I see this card, this is the heart. So this is definitely about love. Look, I'm going to do my best to give you as many messages as I can. I do not only do love readings. Whatever the energy for you is at that point, that I'm receiving, I'm going to deliver it to you, but I can see the heart here. So of course, this is matters of the heart. Now it doesn't mean it has to only be romantic love. This could be about a passion project you have. This could be about something about work, a friend, your family. But when this card comes out, the quintessential meaning of this card with this beautiful heart in the center. And I always think, you know, when I see these two beautiful swans looking at each other, it's got that Gemini feel. Maybe you're dealing with a Gemini. Pisces, and this is about the heart. Heart matters. This is water energy, right? This is also about, you know, swans they made for life. So this is a beautiful energy to start with. This is something about love. Now, what has been a cross for you to carry? This is a very difficult energy. I don't know if this pertains to this, to this love relationship. A cross is a burden, you know. When you think of the cross, the first thing you think of is, you know, Christ walking with that cross. So what is your cross to bear? Now, I also look at this as karma. And if I'm not mistaken, the cross is a Saturnian card. It's a very heavy energy. It's an energy of carrying the weight of something on your shoulders. I also wonder if you have been carrying the burden of a relationship so long. You know, when you are in a relationship, you expect to get a give and take from the other person. But something tells me that you have been carrying this whole burden, you know, of this relationship to make it work, to do all the work, you know, to be the one to, I don't know, to be the one who's active. And somebody else has just been passive and they're very happy with you doing everything because that means you have to do nothing. There has been a burden in love. And I think some of you have been carrying this burden on your own on your own now the heart energy in this deck is sun in leo because you know the it's the fifth house matters it's about your heart so again it could also be about a project that you that you care about because that is also the fifth house okay so this card is a burden this is a duty what can i say it's i'm just getting suffering 
have some of you been suffering in a relationship? And I'll tell you why I feel that. I'll tell you why. Because I have this card. This isn't this, this card, the tower. This is about restrictions. This is about being alone. This is a card of loneliness, solitude. Um, some of you have been feeling lonely in a relationship. I'm going to put this out there. And it's been a very heavy burden to carry for you. Very heavy burden. And you felt alone. That's what I felt. Some of you have been doing everything alone without any help. You are in a relationship, but you feel alone. And this is Saturn and Capricorn, where he's the strongest. Isolation, alone. But you could also be dealing with somebody who's got some kind of an authority and a lot of ego. Some Somebody here is feeling burdened in love. It's like they have been carrying the brunt. And you know that cross, you've been carrying this burden on you. It's like a duty that you've said, you know what, I, this is you. It's like, I need to do this. It's my duty and I got to, you know, this is my, you know, cross to bear, guys. It's a very heavy energy. And some of you have been feeling isolated. Maybe you've kept yourself alone. Maybe you've not um, confided in anybody as to what you're going through. Now, now, now. This card I love here. This is a card of a message coming in. So this is a quick message coming in. Quick message. And I think it's going to give you some kind of a lucky break. Well, this is the Clover. This is Jupiter and Sag. When I see the ship, you're going to be able to take flight. You, if some of you have been wondering if you're going to be able to travel, yes, you're going to be able to travel. And there's a ship flying through the air. Whatever news is coming in is going to help you remove the mask of a person. Somebody has been wearing a mask in a love situation. I'll give you two messages with this. Some of you who you have been wearing that mask, pretending everything is good because it's a duty that you have been carrying, uh, a cross that you've been carrying on your back as a duty. You know, I'm going to have to do this. I have no choice. I have blah, blah, blah. The second message is whatever this message is that is coming in, somebody's mask is going to be ripped off, which is going to give you a short window period of love because the message is going to come in very quickly. It's like the eight of wands, you know, energy. And it's going to give you freedom. You know, when you see a ship, normally, you know, it, it, it's anchored to the ground. Have some of you been feeling stuck? Because that card, the tower card is Saturn and Capricorn. That is about restrictions, you know, somebody keeping you stuck. And that anchor holds back the ship. You're going to be flying through the air. You're going, to be, you're going to get your freedom. Some of you are going to getting your freedom from a relationship that has been very burdensome. I mean, it's like, it's, it's, it's been, um, I don't know. I feel like you're going to be, you're going to be able to breathe again. Have some of you felt restricted yeah, Pisces? Hey, comment below. Let me know, please. I want to hear from you. Okay. Now, Pisces, remember this reading, like I said, is a general reading. Take what is yours, leave the rest. Disclaim it 100% if it resonates. Now, I also want you to know that you can apply this reading to you or you can flip and reverse the roles. Apply this to the person you're thinking about when you come across this reading. Also, if you know the zodiac sign of the person you're asking about, go to my channel, check that reading. I'm sure there will be messages there for you. I'll tell you something else, Pisces. Whenever you uh, watch this reading, watch it again, you know, in a few days. You'll get different messages, and I'm not kidding you. I promise you, this card wanted to come out. So all those people who are watching this for a Pisces, my cross watchers, namaste and welcome. Okay, Pisces, some of you have been carrying a heavy burden of duty, conviction. You know, even maybe you've been restricted by the church or by some religious institution that has forced you to stay in something. I feel this. You're getting your freedom. Somebody, you're getting your freedom. You're going to be running free and wild. I love it. I love it. I love it. I think your heart is going to be set free. Your heart is going to be set free. Okay, Pisces, let's go. I'm going to be taking my Arcanum Tarot to give you some clear messages. Okay, are you ready? I am. Let's go. My Pisces, please. Give me some clear messages for my Pisces, please. You um, will not believe the mid. Wait, let me show you something, Pisces. Remember, I told you I felt this Gemini energy. See, this is about love. This is about love, my darlings. 
look at this. Look at the similarities in this card. We are talking about love. Now, this is the heart. This is Leo. I know this is a Leo energy. But when I see this card, the first you know, impression I get is a Gemini card. And look how spirit works. That's the, that's the card that flips out. So this is about love. This could be about a partnership that is destined. You know, I mean, look at the lovers. Oh, you're dealing with a Gemini. Why do I feel this? Some of you are dealing with a Gemini. Some of you are dealing, and you have all major arcanas, by the way, so far, except for one. You have the lovers, you have the death card. The Scorpio. You have the emperor. This is Aries. Now, this could either be you. You know, I feel there is somebody of authority here who's trying to stop you or it could be the emperor. The emperor is Aries. This is somebody who's seated in their power. That's why this card, you know, the Saturnian card, I feel there's nameless, faceless organizations. Somebody, I know this is not the card of, you know, not the hierophant, but there's somebody you're dealing with who has got a good position in society, who's got that authority and that power. And you have spirit here. You have Archangel Michael. This is your second card of Sagittarius. We have the ship here as well. It's Jupiter and Sag. It's temperance. Something has to be brought in balance. Some of you have been carrying and doing something out of duty incessantly. Incessantly. Even though you know that it feels restrictive and it feels, it feels terrible. It feels like a burden. Love shouldn't feel like that, Pisces. It should feel like it's going with the flow. It's almost, I feel like you've been, you know, swimming upstream for, for years because when the card of Saturn comes out, it's something that you've been in a cycle for a long time. And it's like somebody's left you there, you know, to, to, to take care of this whole relationship. And it's like, you know, it's your duty. That's what they told you. I also feel some of you are feeling restricted by something in society or some thing like an institution i don't know if it's the church or something like that okay that sets these rules and etc okay now 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 remember the gemini card is also you making a choice can you tell me some more please who's pisces dealing with who's pisces dealing with oh boy just one moment that one card Fell down. Capricorn card. Devil is here. I know this is a very restrictive relationship. You're dealing with somebody who is um, very bossy, mean, uh, powerful, obsessive. One moment, please. One card is followed on. I'm just going to get it. We have the Queen of Swords here, and we have an Emperor. There is an age difference here in this in this couple that I'm talking about. One person is an Aries energy, and this is air energy. Look, there is Gemini. There is a lot of air energy in this reading, okay? So this could be an Aquarius, Libra, or a Gemini. This mm -hmm. is Aries. Now, this is somebody who is very powerful. They could have a good position in society. Now, this put yourself in your roles. I don't know which one you are. This individual is somebody who's older. This is somebody who has achieved a position of power. And then they're not just done it by breathing and passing in their life. They have really worked at it. Now, when I see this and this card of the tower, this person could have, you know, a very high profile job or um, it could be heading an organization. Why do I feel that this person is heading something religious? I don't know why. I'm just going to put it out there. Queen of Swords is somebody who is either an Aquarius, a Libra, or a Gemini. This is air energy. My God, this is somebody who's very cold, detached. I hope, I don't think so, but I hope that this person's energy is not like this when they speak. It could be. I do not know. I'm going to ask if, if, if this is the energy in this reading or what are you showing up as? Are you showing up as the emperor? Or are you showing up as the Queen of Swords? I wonder. But something tells me you're neither of them. I don't know why. <laughs> Spicy. Hold on. Yeah, I'll ask for one more card for you. I don't think this is your energy. I think this is. These are people you're dealing with. These are people you're dealing with. Okay. This card is going to come out. 
tell me what what Pisces is showing up as. Uh, the sun card here. Yeah. You have two cards of Leo so far. So if some of you are worried about your health, don't be. You're showing up as a Leo, it says as a fire sign. Can you please tell me, give me another message for Pisces? You know, Pisces, every time I do your reading, do you remember there are always too many people you have judgment here? Again, Archangel Michael is here. Look, there are again a lot of characters in your reading, but that's always happening with you. Pisces, you do know that there are a lot of people in your business, huh? I got the tower. How many major arcanas? I'm not going to ask for anymore. I'm just going to go ahead and just say, take one more. Can you just tell me what? What is the high priestess? Look at this reading. Pisces, I'm going to take you as the high priestess. And I'll tell you why. This is your card. The high priestess, okay, is somebody whose intuition is on point. This is somebody whose Arjuna is open. This is somebody, this is a Pisces and a Virgo axis. I am seeing you as this. Okay, now this individual has a lot of spiritual and esoteric wisdom, intuitive knowledge. This person has created a conduit between herself and the other realms. She has organically opened her ajna and is able to, that is her third eye, pineal gland, and is able to receive messages. Now, this could also be you suddenly experiencing a blossoming of your intuition. I think this is you. Now, can I tell you something? Perhaps this is a couple. And you, unfortunately, are somebody who is showing up as the mistress. I do not know if this is applicable to you, but I'm just going to put this out there. Now, I'll tell you another thing. Perhaps some of you didn't know why this relationship felt so heavy. Perhaps you did not know you were the mistress. Did you know you were the third person? I think you did get signs. But you're dealing with somebody very controlling and they're dealing with somebody who's even more controlling because a queen of swords energy, somebody who's cut dry to the point, cold, detached, very intelligent, very intelligent. Some of you have felt restricted in a relationship because you were the third person. Perhaps you didn't know that. Now, you felt lonely. Like I said, somebody who feels that they are in a relationship, but they're lonely. So you've been doing all the work and you wonder why this other person is not pulling their, uh, you know, pulling their strength in a relationship. And it's felt like a burden for you to carry. But you've done it out of duty. Very weird message. Did you know you were the third person? Because this relationship you're in is very toxic. Now, I'll tell you some of the traits of this relationship, okay? I'll tell you. First, you've been giving and giving and giving. That's how I'm going to read this card. Okay, this is technically a card of equal give and take, but it almost feels like this individual, that's you, has forgotten that they have a uh, weighing scale in their hands and you've been just giving and giving. And look at all the hands taking. Now, you are in a relationship that's lopsided. I don't know this is unrequited love, whether it's one-sided. Are you obsessed with someone, Pisces? My God, is this the same message I'm giving you? I think, Pisces, you're obsessed with somebody. Do you know they're married or they are in a relationship with somebody? This person could be your age and the person they're married to could be younger. You are obsessed with somebody and you've been giving and giving and giving and giving to this, okay? And they've been holding back and holding back and holding back and holding back. As you can see, this person has the money. They're sitting on a chest of money. But their heart is closed. And there are two cards here of the heart. One is the beautiful card that we started off this reading with the swans. This is Leo heart. And the second card is, of course, the sun card. This person has refused to open their heart. And you have just been, you, you've kept your heart open and you've given. This person is closed off. And, you know, they're the emperor. So you felt this kind of a 
where they have, you know, one-upmanship, where they they are they are higher in status than you in society. I'm not talking about your esoteric knowledge and your wisdom. You could be a healer or a counselor. The high priestess is all that. But you knew somehow or you did not know that you were the third person. And this person has not been giving freely of their time or their love. You have. You felt like a beggar. Begging. Always on the outside looking in. You've had to wait and wait and wait. You know, this card for me, the two of wands, is somebody who's putting a lot of passion into something and they're, they're looking out there in the horizon. But for me, this card is always about somebody waiting patiently. See some action in a relationship and it's not happened. It's not happened. And I don't know why I feel they've kept you isolated. You know, when a mask card has come out initially, I wonder if some of you didn't even know that this person was married, I feel this. I think the majority of you did not know that this person was married. And you're very obsessed with them. And with the devil card being here, it is also a card of marriage in a, in a way. Because, you know, when we marry, we exchange rings. Saturn has seven rings. When you walk around the fire seven times in India, that's when you marry and Saturn has seven rings. So the, it's all about these karmic cycles, you know. And then when he comes in, he puts you in restrictions. So when you're married, you have to be in a restriction, right? You just can't be, uh, you know, going through your life as you were before. So perhaps some of you did not know that this person is married. You, But you're very obsessed with them, I'll tell you that. And you've been waiting patiently and waiting some more. And waiting some more. This is almost you seeing your ships, but never the ships never coming in. And then we have the ship card here. Somebody has kept you stuck. Were they promising you a commitment? Okay. I'll give you another message. Perhaps they were promising you a commitment, but it never came. But you waited very patiently. From the two, I have the three. And you worked very hard at it. Look at this card of repetition. You know, when this card comes out, it, it, it's just somebody who's got their head down and they're focusing on their work. And here the work is for you to make this relationship work. You have put in a lot of work into this Pisces. This is somebody who is just working with their hands. And this has been a dream of yours to make this relationship work. But somebody has kept you waiting. And you believed that this was your ace of cups. You believe that if this relationship works for you, this was your, like, you know, your, your, your jackpot. This was what would bring in all this for you, this magical relationship. You believed it. This was your nine of cups, where every single cup, you know, and cups are your emotions, would be brimming over with love. So you, it's almost like you had a lot, a big stake to make this relationship work. And you you didn't uh, shirk your duty. You put in a lot of hard work into this, a lot. Look at this card of you working so hard in a relationship, Pisces. But somebody just kept you waiting and you felt like a beggar. I don't like this energy of you feeling like a beggar, having to beg for somebody's time. But you have to beg for their time because they are dealing with somebody else and they are stuck in another karmic relationship. Perhaps you didn't know that. Is that what, is this what you found out? Because when the tower card is here, this is a lightning strike from, you know, your angels. There's some message that has come in. And it's happened just like that. Just like that. Okay. You're like, what? And it's, it's been shocking. And the mask has been ripped off somebody's face. I don't know what they were pretending. Were they pretending to be single? I don't know. I don't know if they were pretending to be single or if they were just... I wonder, just putting this out there, if they were somebody who was going through some kind of legalities or they were telling you that they're going through a divorce and you got to wait. And that's why this energy of you waiting patiently. This is for me, look, I know this energy is about you putting in the passion, waiting for those ships to come in, expecting growth, expect blah, blah, blah. I know that. When I see this card, the energy that screams the loudest is somebody patiently waiting to see 
some action in the relationship. And in the meanwhile, while you were waiting, that's like a beggar, but you didn't stop putting in the hard work. You did not stop giving. I mean, you know, Pisces, you are such a generous sign. Okay, you're the 12th house. You are about, you know, kindness, compassion. You're ruled by Neptune. That is divine love. Okay. I mean, I can't even tell you what kind of love that is. It's, it's the purest. And you've been giving and giving and giving and getting nothing in return. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Absolutely nothing. I don't know which mask was ripped off with this tower. Some message was delivered to you and the shock, the shock. I think it removed the mask of your face as in, you know, Pisces, you are ruled by Neptune. The low vibration is wearing rose-tinted glasses and romanticizing something. Something has come and, come and removed that, that Neptunian fog and cleared away that and shown you, shown you something which completely shocked you. I don't know what. And there you were standing defending somebody. I think you've been defending this relationship. That, this is this energy of this cross for me. Huh? It's like you've been carrying this burden on your shoulder saying, you know, it's, it's okay. I defend this. You're tired. This is a card of somebody being close to being exhausted and giving up. I'll give you another message. If some of you are feeling unwell, because when this card comes out, the tower here, it's also a card of isolation. If some of you are not feeling well, let me assure you that help is coming for you. Good health. Do not worry about it. And because I can see two children here, if you're worried about your child's health, if somebody is in a hospital, do not worry. Now, some of you have been defending this relationship. Like, I mean, you've been defending this relationship to, what can I say, to the, you know, I mean, You've been doing, you've just been defending, like, no, this is going to work. This is going to, even though they have been just making you wait, wait some more. You've been begging for their time. You've been begging for answers, I feel. You've got nothing because they're dealing with something very karmic. Can you see how this devil has somebody chained here? Somebody has that emperor chained. And in the Queen of Swords, there's somebody who's vicious, mean, rude, drama, drama loving. Here you are exhausted. You're close to giving up. You are close to giving up. You're tired. You cannot carry this burden anymore. You've got to give. You've got to drop it. You have to drop it. And this tower coming in is going to give you that clarity to just rip off your mask and your rose-tinted glasses and rip off the mask of somebody's face. And it's going to be that emperor. I'll give you another message. I do not have any cards to support that. But I wonder if that queen of swords gave you some message. Because this is a very mean, bitchy, bitter energy. Perhaps she knows she's losing that emperor. And she knows perhaps that you exist because you are the third person, whether you know it or not. So maybe she's reached out to you to tell you via a letter. Do you know types? Putting this out there. I'll also give you another message. Some of you are exhausted. And you sometimes wonder why you're exhausted or why is love so exhausting? Is because you're dealing with somebody who's with somebody. They do not have the time to give you. Now, I'll tell you the cards that I love the next for you. We have Archangel Michael coming here twice. He's asking you to temper yourself and stop being obsessed with this person. You are obsessed with them. Obsessed. You need to temper that because everything is not in balance here. And when the judgment card comes out, okay, the judgment card here is telling me that some of you are going to be, you know, shown something. And I'm saying this because as you can see, he's blowing the horn to wake people up. Wake, I was going to say make, wake people up. Because I think even the tower coming in, some of you are refusing to see stuff. And this is Scorpio, okay? Pluto and Scorpio. This is help from spirit. It's an awakening. An awakening. And there is something ending here. There is something ending here. And you know, Pisces, you are, you know, one of your archetypes is allowing people to walk all over you and take advantage of your niceness. I think some of you are going to bring an end to that. And you know what? I'm going to set intentions for that for you, Pisces. It's hard for you. 
because you just give and give. Yeah, it's all right. You're going to bring an end to that. You're going to change and you're going to start seeing things clearly. You're going to start understanding the bigger picture in everything. And spirit is here to help you twice. It's a very critical moment, this judgment. You know, it's a huge wake up call for you where you're understanding what needs to end. And the first change you're going to bring about is this energy of beating yourself up and carrying stuff on your shoulders alone. You're going to quit that. You're not going to do that anymore. And Archangel Michael is here twice. There's been no happiness in a situation for you, just disappointment. And I think you've given many chances to somebody. Now spirit is going to come in and he's going to give the judgment in a situation and he's going to, it's his turn to give you. And the people who have been doing wrong, well, yeah, I don't know what else to say. You know, and when I see this card of the devil here, it's about toxicity, okay? Obsession. I don't know if somebody has a drinking problem. We're just putting this out there. Just putting this out there. But you're dealing with somebody who is very toxic, who is already committed or in a relationship with somebody else. And they've been keeping you waiting while you've been waiting patiently and working on this relationship. Nothing has moved. And you've started to feel exhausted. Some of you are also feeling sick. Some of you are also feeling sick. And let me tell you that being a high priestess, and you are showing up as a high priestess, you have the power to um, receive messages and to see, you know, things not just in the 3D, but you've not been trusting your intuition. Your Arjuna has been trying to talk to you. You've, you've, you've not been listening. And that's where this tower has to come in. Some of you are taking a break. I hope this is not a forced break because this with the tower card can be somebody being sick. I hope this is not the case for you, Pisces. But if it is, again, let me remind you, you have the sun card twice. Now, I want to I wanna give you another message. Some of you are going to take a break from this relationship and this person. Making a choice. And I hope this choice is to end, to end something which is very heavy, which is a way of being for you allowing people to walk all over you and tempering yourself, holding back, not just giving, giving, and giving. You are going to be set free from this. You are going to set yourself free from a certain way of behavior. And I love the sun card here. This is supreme happiness and joy. Look, I have not got any cards yet in, these, in this deck to tell you what is coming towards you. But I do know you were setting yourself free from somebody very toxic and you were obsessed with them. You were obsessed with them. And I think this Queen of Swords energy, this rude, mean, cruel person has reached out to you to tell you something. She has. She has brought the tower down in your life to show you what's going on. And she's done it out of spite. There is no goodness in her heart through which she's done that. But it's, I mean, all I can say is that it's got you supreme clarity. And I'm okay with that. Maybe she's written a message or a note or an email to you. I do not know. Comment below. Let me know. Okay. Now, the sun is coming for you. You know, when I see the high priestess and I see the sun, okay, and I see the Gemini card, this is about choices. You're going to choose. And I think you're going to choose yourself. I love that. And I have temperance here. He's working behind the scenes, by the way, in your favor. Archangel Michael, and you have no idea what he's doing. He's going to make magic in your life, I promise you. He is. It's just a wake-up call. He's trying to wake you up. You know, when I see him blowing this horn, it's almost like telling you in your ear, this is it. Look, look, and you've been not been looking. You've, you've seen signs and synchronicities. You've seen things, mini red flags, giant red, but you've ignored them. Because you were obsessed with getting this. This was your Ace of Cups. This was your Nine of Cups. This was what you wanted. You were obsessed. But they are in a relationship which is karmic. They've been chained by the Queen of Swords. Perhaps, you know, she, they are monetized children. I do not see any children here. But I just feel it. This is coming for you. The sun. Clarity. 
happiness. And let me also tell you, when I see the sun card here, this could also be about your work projects, Pisces. If you can shift your focus for some time from love to your work, there will be a lot of, um, what can I say? Success, success in work. You know what I'm gonna do? I'll take a card to ask, okay? Um, who could be coming towards you, all right? All right, I have the Gemini card again. This is very strong when you're reading the Gemini. This is about choices. You know, I started the reading by telling you that those two swans remind me of that. Now, on this, on the swan, uh, the first card that came out, there is a letter J. I don't know if that means anything to you. It could be a Gemini who's coming towards you. That's what I feel. And this is about love. <sighs> Okay, now, and then I have the Empress. You know, if you, uh, let me tell you this. Um, well, I thought you're showing up as a high priestess, okay? And um, there is an emperor here. There is an emperor here, and you're going to show up as an empress. Perhaps there's somebody coming towards you who's married and who's had a child. I don't know why I feel this. Somebody is coming towards you who's older. Perhaps they have a child. Because the Empress, you know, is Taurus. It's all about, it's, it's, it's about pregnancy. It's about somebody who is a mother. So perhaps there's somebody older coming towards you, Pisces. I feel this. But this energy that you've been stuck in with this individual, this, this emperor has controlled you. They've controlled your mind. They are very, you know, they love to control. It's their way or the highway and you've stayed stuck there with the devil. You know, they've kept you obsessed. Perhaps it was a very deep sexual relationship where you were so attracted because, you know, when the devil comes in, it's an obsession that you cannot explain. But they are in a karmic relationship with somebody else. Okay. It's been a burden that you've been carrying. I'm going to take some situations, Tara, okay? To see what messages I can give you, Pisces. Let's go. I'm so happy to see Archangel Michael here twice. My Pisces, please. I feel there's somebody coming towards you who already has a child. She's a mom. Perhaps this could be you. Perhaps this could be you. No, I think somebody's coming towards you as a, as a child, with a child. And, you know, when I see two children here, I think you're going to be combining your families. Is somebody coming towards you, Pisces? Do not worry. Don't deal with somebody who's constantly holding back and defensive. Take a break from that. Take a break. Make a choice. Choose yourself, Pisces. Choose yourself. Enough. Because you are so sacrificing. So sacrificing. You sacrifice for everybody. It's time to take care of yourself. Can you give me some clear messages, please, from my Pisces? Pisces. Oh, where's my camera gone? All right, Pisces. Remember this first card? Remember the second deck? Now look. This is about love, Pisces. Gosh, my darlings. I love it. I love this. Unconditional love. Now, this is what you thought you had. And trust me, this is what is coming towards you. I'm going to set intentions for that. Now, I am talking. Divine family. I wonder if you are the empress. You could be a mom. Okay. This is your energy. Look at you. Now, now, now. I feel that this queen of swords has reached out to you via gossip. You've heard some gossip. Petty, jealousy, and envy. This is her energy. 
out of spite. Somebody has sent you something. You know, perhaps they've reached out to you on social media with just a line saying, check this out with a link. Yeah. I'm telling you. Because they know they're losing the emperor, but they don't want you to have it either. This is that energy of this. Rude, mean, cruel. You're dealing with this, this, this person. Oh God, I'm so glad you're removing this all, all these characters from your life. They gave you a tip and you went searching. Online looking for info and records. And you know what tip they gave you? And the person you were interested in is going through a divorce and they are the wife and you are the mistress. Feel the spices and it just shocked you. The tower card, it just shocked the sh living daylights out of you because they sent you a link or they, they sent you some freaking communication. And that just ripped of that mask, let me tell you, you dodged a bullet. This was your lucky break to run. You found out that they're going through a divorce and there's a child here. This person hid all this from you. Now you understood why this was a roller coaster ride and why you felt restricted. Isolated, and it was like a burden that you were carrying. Now you know why you felt that you were putting in all the hard work. Yet you felt like a beggar because this person has no time for you. They have nothing for you. All they do is make you wait. Now, I also want to tell you, this relationship that you were in with this person was the highs were really high. Huh? But see, the roller coasters again round and round. That's very Saturnian. That's the devil. He keeps you stuck and chained. This could be sex, could be the fun times, could be money. I don't know if they were giving you gifts. This person kept you stuck. This whoever this emperor energy is. They knew. You know what tickled your pickle, you know, floated your boat. They kept you there. With the sex and the promises, yeah, you waited patiently and the highs were high and the lows were in the dumps. The trick with something karmic is it's not that it's bad. It's just that you need to know if it's a lesson or a blessing. It can, it, that, that's all that there is. Okay. Sometimes karmic, karmic, you know, relationships last a lifetime. We are people who stay together for years. But then there is something to learn there. And there is a blessing. This was not, this was toxic. This was just toxicity. They kept you stuck. That maybe they, they thought you were very hot and passionate because they're dealing with cold fish. That queen of swords is not somebody who's hot and passionate. Uh, no. So argue, hell yeah. You, on the other hand, are showing up as a high priest, as somebody who's a counselor, somebody who's an empress. You went round and round this cycle with this person for many years and you are exhausted. I'm telling you, you've dodged a bullet because if you would have wasted more time waiting for this person. Now, for some of you, this person perhaps told you that they're going through a divorce, though I don't think. I don't think so. You didn't know that they're going through a divorce. You had no idea. And for the ones who knew they were, they just kept you waiting. And you're tired of waiting. And you finally realized. And something has come to light that this is not going to happen. Because I think this person is not going to leave that person for you. Perhaps that's what that Queen of Swords has told you. So you've heard some gossip, you know, and this, this card, you know, she's giving you some information via social media. Access granted. She's giving you something which is so juicy that it blew your mind and not in a good way. You were like, what the F? They've been lying and I've been waiting here patiently working in this relationship. 
tired. You're done. You're done. I take one more card. I know this is coming for you, okay? I think this Queen of Swords has reached out to you. She's blown your mind with the information she's given you. Take one more card for you, please. Can you give me one more card for my guys? I need to know. I need to know. Can you tell me? Just one more card, please. One more card. Oh boy. You know, you've been watched. I hope it's not by that crazy person. Huh? I'll give you two messages. That lady has been watching you. Their, their, their wife, their pa, whoever that is. Be careful. And this green envy, you know, this is that. Jealousy, envy, green eyed monster. You've been watched by somebody. Please be careful, Pisces. I don't like this energy. Okay. And this for me is also you being obsessed with somebody, just obsessed, okay? Now, the card that came out is somebody is about to confess something to you. I don't know who this is. Just want to put it out there. Once you're done with this and you move on, you know, this is there for you. Maybe there's somebody else who is obsessed with you online and you do not know that yet, Pisces, and they've been looking at you. Perhaps they've been waiting to see when you leave this relationship. And you know, perhaps they're going to fly in to see you. I don't know. Hey, comment below, Pisces, and let me know. I'm going to take some kippers on this, okay, Pisces? But you're dealing with someone who's controlled you and kept you stuck. And they knew that you are the third person in a situation, but they didn't bother to tell you that. You kept working at a relationship, may trying to make it work, but they don't have time for you because they're dealing with somebody else who's a nutcase. That person has reached out to you. I know this. Hi, Kipper. Give me some cards for my Pisces, please, Kipper. Okay, let's see what we got here. Pisces, oh boy. Messages are just going to repeat Pisces, but I'm going to just tell you, okay? So, this relationship felt like toil and labor. What fun. It's been terrible. It's that cross. It's that ice. It's that tower. It's that nine of wands. I mean, look at these energies. Terrible. You've been just working and working and working. Eight of pentacles, repetitively working at something. It's gotten you nothing. Now you are dealing, okay, with somebody here who has got a good position in society. Look at the similarities here. They could be wearing a uniform. They could be a CEO, a boss, or they could be, the, there's something with institutions here. I don't know. Army? I don't know. I even I think the church, but there's somebody who's got a good position. Now. kept you waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting it's also a card of somebody being pregnant i'm telling you there is somebody here who's pregnant and you didn't know that this person has somebody that they're dealing with who could be pregnant or they are married to them and you've been waiting. There's also a card of waiting. You've been just waiting for this person to come in with a, you know, that, that proposal or that, that, that thing to move in. And it's not happened. And in the meanwhile, they've been trying to tell you, you know, you need to do this as well. That's why it's not happening. And you've been doing it. Somebody here who's married and pregnant. Let's bring this up there. You're dealing with somebody who's got somebody else on their minds. That's the reason why they cannot give you the time. They cannot. But they chose to not inform you of this. I'll also give you another message. Maybe some of you are just obsessed with somebody. You can't even work. Even at your workplace, you think about them. That's this kind of an obsession that this person has created in your mind. I don't know what they've done for you, Pisces. Have they mesmerized you? Yeah. Now, 
believing. You're done. You know, this voyage card, I'll read this two ways. Either some of you are moving away from a situation, from that ship that was stuck and anchored, you're flying through the air. Some of you could be leaving, moving. Or I feel there's somebody moving towards you and you do not even know that. Perhaps you're just going to take a vacation and come to you, but there is somebody coming towards you. You are leaving for sure, but there's also somebody traveling to you. Now, you know, a Pisces, this card that came out before, this clover, this is, this is a tower for me, for you, because it's going to be a lucky break. You dodged a bullet. Let me tell you, you're going to have a lucky break where you are going to get, you are going to get some raise or some promotion, but this also reminds me of them going through the divorce. Remember that settlement? This person is going to be losing a lot of money. Let me put this out to you. They are. And, you know, this card is also of this, where you've been giving and giving and giving. And I'll give you another message I'm getting from this card. Whenever this person gave you their time, they made you feel like a beggar. And that, that, that card is here too. Not that I like that card very much and I do not want to go back to that card. But I just want to tell you, they made you feel like that. Like they're giving you, you know, by giving you their time or the emotions, they're giving you, you know, like giving you arms to the needy. That's how they made you feel. I want you to know this is coming towards you. Somebody is watching you online. And this gift is coming from the divine. This is Archangel Michael coming in to give you this gift. This could be a gift of money. Expect a promotion at your job. Expect a gift of something that you were not expecting, okay, in your work. And let me tell you, expect a gift of love. But you need to make space, Pisces. I know it's hard for you. I feel your energy, Pisces. I'm sending you so much love and so much strength, okay, from every fiber of my being. I want you to remember Archangel Michael is here twice in your reading, okay? When And when he's here, you know what? He protects you. He wants you to temper this down because you're obsessed, Pisces. Look, he's mixing these elements and he's getting your gift ready. It's love, it's money. It's a promotion. All these things are coming to you. And I'm 100% sure about that. Okay. I'm 100% sure about that because I have the sun card here. I have the sun card. Nothing can ever trump this card in any deck. And when you, you know, choose to leave people in situations that drain you, okay, luck shines on you. Luck. You know, Pisces, I'm just going to go ahead for you. Now, if this individual has reached out to you, this vicious person, please um, remove yourself from that energy because this woman, whoever this person is, nuts, off the charts. My God. Come on, please. Look at this, Pisces. <laughs> the cat refuses to fall down. Thank you. And I'm just going to. Archangel Michael is here for the third time. Very blessed, Pisces. Crystal clear intentions, no confusion. Be clear about what you desire and focus upon it with unwavering faith because he is here protecting you. No more confusion, Pisces, promise me. Brilliant idea, Archangel Uriel. If some of you have some project, because the Leo card, you know, the gift is also the fifth, the fifth house. You know, it's like a gift of something. The Sun card, the uh, the, the Heart card. This is all about, you know, if you have any creative or pet projects, it's a brilliant idea. Go ahead with it. The universe is going to shower you with money. I promise you. Yes, your idea is divinely guided. Please take action to bring this idea into fruition. This is about Korea. My beloved one, Archangel Shamuel, I am helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship because this one was a karmic one. They're helping you and guiding you towards your soulmate. 
guess what awaits you? Victory. Victory. Archangel Sandalphon, your prayers have been heard and answered. Have faith. Perhaps some of you have been begging for guidance. It's been heard. It's been answered. Now be awake. Okay, follow your call. If you feel that you're being disrespected somewhere, despite putting in all the hard work and working diligently at something where it starts to feel heavy, you don't have any duty or obligation to stay there. And especially after what you found out. It's okay, Pisces. Take your power back. And I know you will. My darling Pisces, comment below. Let me know what you're going through and I would love to hear from you. Also, like, share and subscribe. It helps my channel and it really, really, really helps me. So thank you in advance. And I've been thinking of doing live readings. If some of you want me to do that, just message me. Let me know your time zone. And let's see if a few people can come online. I will get live and do readings for you, okay? Mini readings. Now, I just want to send you love, light, and blessings. I cannot wait to come back again, my darlings, and do another reading for you. But until then, I'm going to say goodbye. I love you. And namaste. Bye.